okay. know, the, the first P is people. The second P is process. And the third P is profit. And you, you kind of touched on every one of those okay. uh, through, through your background. So uh, what we're looking for, if you would, is share two or three just golden nuggets about what you learned that someone you would say, Hey, you better listen to this. This, this is something you need to know about people. So oh, in give, regards give to us people? those nuggets. Okay. Yeah, um, well, in regards to people, you know, being in a position as we're course growing and we had uh, several locations, but even if you're just a single store operator, maybe you have two locations. One of the things that I even struggled with at the beginning was when to cut somebody loose, um, oh. how long to keep them, you know, when to know that uh, you've, you've kept them for too long or they're not a good fit for your business. Mm -hmm. And that's very difficult. And so what I used to look at is the, the three reasons why people would fail. And uh, okay. what it breaks down to is they don't know or they don't care or they can't do. When you stop mm -hmm. and think about it, there's really nothing else that can get in the way. And so I always felt like it was my responsibility to ensure that it was never a don't know issue. And so that, okay. you know, you accomplished that course through, through training, Gary. And so we focused really hard on training. Mm -hmm. Once I could establish that they knew and they understood and they demonstrated that they understood, then it really falls back to they can't do it or they don't care. Two mm. uh, uh, both of which, you know, neither one of those is acceptable. And so by rationalizing it like that, it became easier for me. And it wasn't a personal issue, but it became easier for me to know when it was time to cut somebody loose or look for an upgrade or look for a replacement yeah. was when they know the information, but yet they can't perform it. And, you know, we used a lot of sports analogies, especially with people, Gary, um, so you think of yourself like an NBA basketball coach, you know, um, uh, and you think about the, the can't do, you know, so if you got your four foot guy that's trying out for the, your NBA professional, uh, basketball team, no matter how <laughs> hard they work and how hard they try that, that four foot individual may not be able to compete in the NBA. Yeah. And so that's, those are the toughest when they have the heart, the desire, but they can't do it. But when you yeah. recognize and see that, you know, it's time to, to move forward. Um, and the other ones, you just don't, they don't care, you know, and that's something that uh, is also unacceptable. You know, they can do it. They have the ability, you sure. know, uh, they're seven foot, but they don't, they don't, <laughs> they're not putting forth the effort and the energy or trying or, ha or having passion, uh, mm -hmm. which of course are, items that you can't teach or train on, you know, these are things that, uh, somebody has to have it or they don't have it. You know, they, they, they either, they care, or they don't care. You can't teach and train that. Right. No. And so, um, yeah. And so that's, those are the things that I would look for. So that's one of the things Gary is, uh, looking at the three reasons why people fell, knowing when to cut somebody, um, and yeah. being able to measure that and ensuring, of course, that also puts, puts it back on me, to ensure that uh, the training's taking place. Um, you know, another big thing that I realized is there's so many pieces to be being successful. There is no one single magic bullet. Mm. The, the key is, is all of the, all of these things put together, then you can have massive results, massive results, but it's all of the things put together. There's no real one magic bullet. And so you can't discount a shortcut, one piece of the method, one piece of the process, you know, all those systems have to be dialed in and, and executed to, to hit, you know, to really do well. And our stores did great. I mean, we, uh, you know, we had a lot of success. In fact, I think, you know, we, and from what I know, we were one of the most successful independent uh, chains in the country at the time. 